Oh my god! Okay, um... Yeah, I forgot to start recording. So, um... I guess I'll read that to you. Alright. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find this location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hinan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, I unco we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way. Late in the dark, not cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, yeah, yeah. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Yeah, I forgot to continue to press record and um. Uh, To shut my doors. You know. It just gives you that sense of, oh, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm, I'm safe from harm. Mr. Face cannot get me. Wilhelm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will, re will reign for a total of three years, when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brandenburg is to recommend my service at the Prussian ro Royal Court and within the sanct sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Wilhelm, House of Gret Get Gerich. So, um, yeah, Alexander had slaves and... Yes, Mr. Face, I heard you. I heard you loud and clear. You went... Thirty-nine. My hand trembles. I write. I feel the 
people to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and the broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. Yeah, yeah. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. How are you feeling, Daniel? Okay, you're feeling a little bit better. bad habit of just getting halfway into um is the face you fade the piano so beautifully but i have that old habit of getting into a room halfway and then only when i'm halfway through i start to close the door and thus that's probably what resulted in my death when i played part 14 and prison cell because I had a plan that wasn't done like any other plan. Hi, doll. Stay in here for a little bit longer. Oh, yep. <laughs> Sanity is almost depleted. Yeah, just just pick up a book and read it, Daniel. You know. That looks like it'd be a nice book. Have a seat. Take a load off. I don't know if the sunlight helps or if only the actual like light from your Let's just take you to a dark corner and let you die.
it, and I think that that's probably a good place to end, because, um, yeah, we just heard Mr. Face. I don't know. Kind of sounded like a goat. Um, so yeah.